Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. What is happening to PF? The PF you even have no right. The other time I told you that uh, we should, there are times when we should just suffer quietly and not try to play victim. But Edgar Lungu na PF Yawo, they have got no right to start crying victim. They, they have no right to start crying victim. They have no right to, to cry victim because they themselves did not treat others well. Even this issue that you talk about to say what, what, the other time I said, you know, HH, as much as I used to think that he is got such a, you know, is has got a bad heart and everything, but I think he's better than Walung. Yes, I've been arrested nine times during that, during the, the, the UPND, nine times. Nine times I've been arrested during the, by HH. Muli Balungwa was arrested three times. But if you look at the way HH has handled Balungu, for example, I think Balungu needs to be grateful to Haka in the Hichirim. Because if it was the vice versa, if it was the other way around, by now, Balungu Ngabari Katuapo. He would have tested jail by now. He would have tested jail. And this is a fact. If it was Valungu, if Valungu was the one who was leading this country, HH Ngari Katwa by now. I know you like to say no, HH was in opposition eh? during that time. Yes, he was in opposition. He was just an opposition. He was not former president. But I want to tell you that. If HH was such a, a bad man, Balungu Ngabari Katwa. Balungu Ngabari Katwa. If HH was like Balungu, Balungu Ngabari Katwa, he would have been arrested. Not once, not twice. He would have been arrested more times. Because Balungu, he was not hesitating. Balungu arrested a number of people. Valungu treated, persecuted a number of people. One other example that I would give you is Vafred Membe. Vafred Membe, you know, Ukuba Poka, Ukuba Poka post, they just grabbed that, that, that company. They just grabbed it. Using power, they, nothing like whatever, whatever, they just grabbed it. And they grabbed it, they even arrested the uh, arrested Vafred Membe. They even arrested my friend. Man. You can talk about Mtembonchito. Mtembonchito, I mean, there was no need for Mtembonchito to be to be to be taken into into police custody. But they did not just remove, hold out Mtembonchito. They even had to uh, put him muma seos ku uko kuchongwe ekoba mtuere kuchongwe ekoba mtuere for what? Why did they take him? Mtembonchito and lock him up in Chongwe. For what? And yet, not that I do agree, uh, not that I do agree, for example, the issue of Lilian's Union. Lilian's Union was wanted out by, by UPND. I still stand that I don't agree with the, the holding out of Lilian's Union. But at least we didn't have a situation like Mtembonchito where he was incarcerated. Uh, get me very clearly there. I don't agree that uh, in the manner that uh, Lillian Sun was wanted out, I totally don't agree. Because some of you, you think that, no, how do you just accept? No, no, no. I'm different from you praise singers. 
Imwe, when you are when you are when when you are on this side, you want to support everything. For me, I look at things on their own merit. So when I look at Lilian Suyoni, Lilian Suyoni was removed. I still stand by whatever I said before. It was wrong to hold out Lilian Suyoni in the manner that she was handed out. But at least we didn't see Lilian Suyoni uh, arrested. At least. Then we also have other people that were you know, are uh, treated badly. Now, let me just come to what is currently happening. Those of you who have followed the politics of this country, you remember there was a time immediately where Ed Galungu came into power, or just before Balungu came into power. You remember there was that, uh, uh, there was uh, uh, some kind of uh, an understanding between RB and, and, uh, and Ed Galungu. The one who helped by Ed Galungu to become president, or if there is somebody uh, who Valungu owes for him becoming president in 2015, after Sata's death, it's Arabi. Arabi helped by Ed Galungu to become president. And they had this uh, relationship, this political relationship. And that political relationship led to uh PF sponsoring sponsoring a convention. Do you remember that there was a convention of Vafelix Mutati? Vafelix Mutati, Nakachinda, and the others? Do you remember Timulungushi Rock? PF sponsored sponsored Va Felix Mutati to hold a, a, a convention in in uh, in MMD. Putting aside Vanevas Mumba, much as I didn't agree with Vanevas Mumba, but the situation is pretty much the same. At that time, Vanevas Mumba was the president of, of MMD. Vanevas Mumba was the president of MMD. But MMD, there was a rango at that time where they said, Never Smumba, we should have a, a, a general conference so that they can hold out Nevas Mumba at that point. There was the, that rango. No, we should have a press conference. We should have a general conference, a general conference. And the Nevas Mumba didn't want to have that general conference. They had a general conference uh, later on, of course, but he said, no, not president. You're not going to vote on the president because the president came midway the term. Anyway, the issue was that they wanted to have a general conference to elect another leader to remove the Nevas Mumba. And when Vanema Sumumba resisted, just like Ba Ed Galungu is resisting, you can say whatever you want, at least from my point of view, I'm not naive like you, like some of you. Me, I say or I look at things realistically. Today we don't have a convention, not because of all those reasons that they have been given. Today we don't have a convention because Ed Galungu doesn't want to have that convention. And I'm telling you on solid ground that Ed Galungu doesn't want to have that convention. The same way Nevas Mumba didn't want to have that convention where a president can be elected. And it is the same thing that has happened this time around. Ed Galungu doesn't want to have a convention where a new leader should be elected. What did the PF do? The PF sponsored Nakachinda, Ba Felix Mutati, Navambi Navambi, they went and had a press, uh, had a conference at Mulungush Rock. And there they elected Felix Mutati as president. And when they elected Felix Mutati as president, PF facilitated for them to go to Pakra and change the office bearers. They did. They changed the office bearers. The same way Mao Sampa has had this general conference and uh, has presented the names of new names of office bearers, he has taken to registrar of societies. So it is basically the same thing. It's a deja vu situation. Deja vu situation. It happened exactly during the time of a PF.
but PF sponsored other faction so that they can uh, they can have uh, uh, a convention. It has happened. It is happening exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. So, but PF, much as you want to complain, much as you want to complain, what, what, eh, it's illegal, whatever, whatever, you should remember that this Efida Valanda, at you reap what you sow. You sowed this seed. You did this to others. Now it's happening to you. Now it's happening to you. I want to see the reaction of the registrar of societies. But during that time, but PF actually managed to change the names of the office bearers at the Registrar of Societies. I remember during the meetings of political parties, you know, like Kuku, Kuku, Zambia Center for Interparty Dialogue, ZCID. I even made issues myself because they were recognizing Avena Nakachinda as the legitimate MMD. And they neglected, they refused to, ne to, to accept Avena Nevas Mumba. I remember that lady, Winnie, Winnie Zalomes, used to come for a meeting and they would refuse her. They were recognizing Avena Felix Mutati. I spoke during that time to say, this is not right. If it is not to accept, let us not accept both parties. But anyway... Because PF was in power and PF was supporting the Felix Mutati, those are the ones who were recognized. Avena Nakachinda, they were recognized. And that is how you have, found, you have seen Nakachinda crawling into PF and eventually becoming Secretary General. It is because they worked together, they are coming from that faction. When Felix Mutati realized to say, uh, you know, their faction was not legitimate, and he ended up forming another political party. Of course, through the court, but never Mumba won the cases, and now those wrangles are done. But look at the mess that they caused to MMD. MMD is barely, uh, you know, limping because of how PF, you know, descended on it. Of course, but never Mumba has got his own issues as well, and I will not pretend. But on this one, my brothers and sisters, speaking objectively, but PF sowed this seed, and now it is it is working against them. They started this kind of machinations. They started this kind of machinations. Okay, now fine. MM, uh, PF did this, and the UPND is doing the same thing. Is it okay? Is it justified? No, I want to be honest with you. It is not justified. It is not justified. But today, unlike the way it was during the time of Kuriba MMD, today I blame the PF more than I would blame by MMD at that time. I hope you follow that argument. What is happening to PF now? I blame PF more than the ruling party than the ruling party unlike what happened then Kuri MMD I blame again the ruling party at that time today I don't blame the ruling party as much as I blame the ruling party at that time when MMD was being harassed I hope you follow that Do, what happened to MMD I blame the ruling party which is PF. But today what is happening to PF, which is an opposition, I don't blame the ruling party as much. I don't. The ruling party, much as they are aiding it, they have aided this. They have aided this. But the whole plan is not a UPND plan. What has happened to PF or what is happening to PF is not a UPND plan. This is an inner an inner uh, conflict. This is an inner conflict which would have been resolved by PF itself. PF would have resolved this. What we are seeing now is not so much 
the act of 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 UPND. No, I am not saying I I can't say UPND orchestrated all these. They planned everything. No, no. Yes, they are taking advantage of this situation. They are helping it. They are helping PF in this mode of self destruction. PF has entered into a self 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 destruction mode. It is not UPND that is destroying PF. It is PF itself distracting itself. And the UPND as a ruling party, all they are doing is that, okay, come on, go ahead, go ahead. It is like that person who is, uh, who is frustrated with life and he wants to kill himself. Now, instead of, usually what you are supposed to do is to stop a person to say, no, don't do that, don't do this. But you see what UPND is doing is like this person wants to kill himself and he wants to buy doom. He doesn't have money to buy doom so that he can drink and kill himself. And then you say, oh, you want to kill yourself? Yes, I want to kill myself. Uh, but what is the problem? No, I don't have doom. Oh, you, you don't have doom. You don't, you don't have money to buy doom. No, I don't have. And then you say, ah, okay, here is a 200 kwacha. Use it whichever way you want. So, you know that this person wants to go and buy doom and kill himself. And then you take a 200, you give them. Even if you don't tell them to say, go and buy, buy doom, definitely, you know they will go and buy doom and kill uh, and, and execute the, the, the suicide mission. And this is, for me, what UPND is doing. I don't know about the money issues. I, 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 I will not talk about the money issues because somebody will say, no, he was given this, he was given this. Definitely money is involved. But where the money came from, I would not want to directly think to say it came from UPND. Mao Sampa needed a lot of money to bring all those delegates. You needed, he needed a lot of money to bring all those delegates he needed transport. He needed to look after them food. And by the way, those people, those were hard people. So those people, you needed to give them more than just providing transport and food. You needed to give them more. So, so a lot of money went in in that, in that convention. Where that money came from, I would not be very quick to say it came from UPND. Why I would say I would not be so quick to say it came from UPND? Because UPND, there is no money there. There is no money there. There is no money in UPND. Don't be cheated. Don't be cheated. Even myself, you keep saying, hey, yes, now, Uleria, hey, mouth for hire. They are giving you, forget it. Not to UPND. Not to UPND. There is no money there. Look at, I keep talking, I keep bemoaning. Look at the Secretary General. Just look at the Secretary General of UPND. Meet the Secretary General of UPND. Just look at him. You will see that this money, there is no money around this man. Even some of these MPs and the ministers of UPND, they don't have money. So I don't think I would want to be quick to say uh, uh, UPND gave money to 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 Mao Sampa. I, 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 I would be reluctant. I would be reluctant. But it is very possible, it is very, very possible, possible that the money Mao Sampa is using could actually be coming from PF sympathizers. Because there are people right now who don't want Ed Galungu. There are people who are actually frustrated with the way Ed Galungu has held PF at ransom. This is a fact. There are people who are very frustrated with the way Ed Galungu has held uh, PF at ransom. They are very frustrated that PF is going down. So much as you may be looking from outside, Mao Sampa could easily be sponsored by people that are actually supporting uh, that we are supporting PF. And they are just frustrated with Ed Galung. So, so be very careful when you, when you attribute, you know, blame or credit to say this one and that one. 
this distraction, whatever is going on in PF, it is very much something that is from within. What is something that uh, uh, the government, however, uh, which you can be sure that you, this is government sponsoring it or helping, it is the presence of the police. The police would not have gone there to protect Mao Sampa if UPND was not in support. Those police officers protecting those people who were in that conference, it is a clear sign that their government is uh, with Mao Sampa. And I want you to hear me very well on this one. The presence of the police shows that the UPND are in support of Mao Sampa. The other one is today Mao Sampa announced that by 10 hours they had filed fingerprints at the Registrar of Societies. Now, we all know when you go to have your, uh, your fingerprints to be cleared, it takes seven days. Seven days, that's what it takes. We have been doing fingerprints ourselves. When you go and take fingerprints, you need to give the police time, and they talk about seven days. How is it that Mao Sampa, yesterday, they elected those leaders. Today, Mao Sampa, before 10 hours, he managed to have the fingerprints, and he filed at the Registrar of Societies. How? That is another sign that Mao Sampa is working with the government. Now, since Mao Sampa is working with the government, if Mao Sampa is working with the government, what chances do you think the Nakachinda, the Given Luwinda, and the Edgar Lungus have? And this is a reality, this is something that the PF have been ignoring. PF have been ignoring the fact that they are not in power. They are not in power. Those people, up to today, they carry themselves as if they are in power. Even here on social media, some of these cadres, when they are talking, they talk as if they are in power. They want to intimidate us. They want to insult us. They even want to beat us. Vakada, wake up. Wake up and, you know, look in the air. You are no longer in power. You are no longer in power. You are no longer in power. So even that talking, eh? we are looking for Maozi, eh? we are going to the police, whatever, whatever. You are no longer in power. You can't go and command the police to do this and that the way you used to command them. Your time is gone. Your time when you had, when you could command the police to do what you wanted is gone. You can't command anyone. So you are wasting your time to think that uh, the government systems will work in your favor. You are wasting your time. Especially on political issues such as this one. You are wasting your time. You should be thanking God if Mao Sampa does not change the names of uh, uh, the names of uh, office bearers. You should be thanking God. You should be thanking God if it won't happen, because it can easily happen. Just like you did yourselves, yourselves did that to MMD. You put the Felix Mutati there. You did it. And wherever you want to go. You have to remember. You have to remember. Wherever you, wherever you, you, you go, you have to remember that you are facing a government system and you are no longer in power. You are no longer in power. You have to remember that. Mao Sampa has the power that be on his side. And therefore... Some of these things that you are doing, I can assure you, you will not, uh, you will not go anywhere. You will not go anywhere, some of these things that you are doing. 
And if you want the proof in what I'm saying, go back in the history. Go back and look at what you did. If you did those things, what will stop the UPND from doing the same? What will stop the UPND from doing the same? This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.